Hi guys, my name is Rob, and this is my YouTube channel, Useless Hobby Limited. Now, a little bit about Useless Hobby, it's just kind of like, just me showcasing my different interests. I'm, I'm a filmmaker by trade, but I also like video games a lot. I like books, I like, you know, listening to different types of music. And I figured that this would kind of just be my page where I can just post about my interests in a way that's unfiltered and uh, something I don't really have to think about. I hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, this is the time I took on Hildeberg in Cuphead and I finally won after about two weeks. I am going to beat this f***ing level this time. I messed up. Give me a second. So this game is already f***ing hard as possible. Um, we're just, uh, I mean, there's no absolutely no breaks that they give you here at all so basically this is just a little mini game inside of the game which is a platformer and a sh kind of run and gun 2d side shooter but this is kind of like a 2d plane side shooter the mechanics are similar to the main game but they're completely just rebuilt specifically for the hildeberg level um, which is, I mean, the, the fact that the mechanics work, that was obviously pure skill. Uh, no luck whatsoever. Come on, you're gonna beat this? Oh, f stupid moron. I will confess that almost any time I'm playing video games, playing board games, I, it's just like 99.9% .9 of the time I'm like, it's just a game. And I don't care whether I win or lose, but there's something about how just redonkulously, insanely tough this game is that I just get so competitive and angry if I don't do well. And I have to, I have to take a break. I can't just like play it. Like it, it's definitely still fun, but after a certain point, I'm just kind of like being a masochist and just punishing myself if I can't get past a level. I also find that, like, playing other games kind of... <laughs> Come on, you're gonna eat these stupid... <sighs> I don't even know what killed me, but I'm dead. I find that playing other games breaks up the monotony of losing, 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 losing. If I go and quickly hop on Fortnite and have a good game on that, or... Paladins. If you guys can't tell, I'm a huge Switch gamer. I, um, right now, uh, just have the Switch. I have a PlayStation 2, but, um, or, sorry, I have a PlayStation 4 as well, to elaborate, but I really just like the Switch. I like the portability of it. The way that my life's been going right now, I'm, uh, you know, driving a lot for work, so I end up really just needing something that's portable, and when I don't play video games, I actually get pretty depressed, so having an entire AAA console in my pocket is, well, let's just say it was a dream since pretty much the first day I was born. Um, I also might be dating myself at this point if I'm talking about not having games that you could play in your pocket that were console quality. It's missile time. Boom. I'm such a huge fan of the 30s and 40s. I love Humphrey Bogart. He's one of my favorite actors on the planet. Get the missile! I really like how as the video is going along, the sun's kind of behind clouds right now, so it's just making the image quality dark, and that, I feel like, symbolizes the slow deterioration of my psyche and mental state and, and challenging the very bare essence of my soul. But to get back to Humphrey Bogart, if you haven't seen The Maltese Falcon and seen that ending, I, I, you're missing out. I. I can't recommend it enough. And of course, Casablanca is the greatest romantic film ever made. I mean, it's just literally 
everything that is ever good about Hollywood is in that movie. What's funny is this is still the first world. I was told by a friend of mine that they said, just wait till you get to the second world. And when they said that, I, I think I legitimately like had a like a moment of like like a, like actual like real world anxiety for a video game, which, like I said before, I it's oh! <laughs> <laughs> pretty damn good. I do say so myself, but video games are fun for me, so it's like to actually like not look forward to something that I went out to a store or. Well, I guess at this point I I bought this online, but you know just to just to add to the drama, I, I went out to a store, you know, I got in my car, and drove there. Well, I, I mean, you know, even just downloading this for the sheer sake of of wanting to play it because it's a game, and you play games because they're fun. I said you play games because they're fun, not because they're hard work, and so I I just. Yeah, I don't know, but like most things in life, you just got to take it one step at a time, one day at a time, just one, one level at a time. So close, yet no cigar. All right, this is going to be the one. Wow, Cuphead, look at you making me practice what I preach, asshole. So Hildeberg can be divided up into five different acts. Act one and three are just Hildeberg charging at you. So she either blows up like a balloon and charges at you, or as you saw earlier, she'll throw a tornado at you, which kind of follows you. It's not quite homing, but uh, it's definitely accurate. Where you're going to be is more than likely where it's going to land. So act two is where she turns into, as you're seeing right now, the bull, or I assume it's probably the Taurus. Um, the, this bull is really easy to, to, to get past, but um, it, they'll surprise you. I, as you saw me earlier get hit. Oh yeah, I also forgot about Acts 1 and 3 when Hildeberg's a standard Hildeberg. Those ha's, uh, those are a doozy too. Act 4 is randomized. You're not 100% sure it's the one you're gonna get. It, there's no indication either. It'll just turn, they'll just, she'll just turn into either twins or someone who shoots arrows. The arrows home. Uh, well, the, the arrows themselves not home, but they have these blue stars attached to them, which will follow you literally almost all around unless you destroy them. So I know I said five acts, but I guess technically it could be six because after either the twins or the arrow guy, she turns back into Hildeberg one last time, but it's always so short and um, it's probably the easiest part of the whole map before the transition between either the twins and the arrow guy and when she turns into the moon. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I hope I didn't spoil anything for you guys. Um, I hope you guys don't care about things like really arbitrary spoilers. But then again, this is the internet, so I have yet to be surprised about the banality that people will embrace without a second thought. Anyway, back to the show. Um, and the twins have, as you saw, that little portal that shoots out machine gun bullets. So. Um, I don't really like the twins, they're easier to kill, they're faster. The arrow guy almost always gets me, but lately I've gotten a little bit better at fighting him, so now I really, I don't really have a preference. And finally we have the Crescent Moon with Act 5, which is the toughest part of the level, which is kind of par for the course in this game, so I would recommend not getting hit, uh, like I managed to do in this Son of a- <clears throat> As I was saying, you want to make sure that you're saving your HP, because you are going to get hit by their UFOs. Those stars will also sneak up on you, and, and you just want to make sure that you're being careful. My final word of advice is just keep firing and hit her with those missiles as soon as you can. That is what is going to make this go much, much faster. Yes! Ha ha ha! All right, moment of truth. How'd your boy do? Now, one thing I did not do that you can see on there is parry. Um, that is something that you can very easily get cards, and that makes the game go even faster. So I'd recommend trying to do that as well. I'll take it. Well, I, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, this is a little bit of an experiment, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm trying to see if I can just create a little bit more content, you know, put myself out there a little bit more, and just push myself as an artist. So if you guys did like it, if you can do me a huge, huge favor, and if you could press that like button, and if you'd leave a comment, even if it's just a simple 
great job or something like that. If, and I mean, obviously, if you feel that way, that would be better if you wrote that. But just every little bit of interaction helps, especially in this day and age where a lot of people are on YouTube and a lot of people are doing what they can to stand out. So like I said, I greatly appreciate it. If you could share this video with your friends, your co-workers, whoever, your family members, um, and maybe they'll enjoy it too. But uh, hope you guys have a lovely day and may the wind be at your back.